Welcome back to Crusader of Cincy. I am Alan T. Trith, Chronicle of the Old Swan Corporate, and today we are in the underwater Temple of Root. As you see, we have about a minute's worth of breath at any given time. The slugs from the Anemone Beach stage. But most of what we're going to be dealing with is underwater. Now, the cheetah doesn't work. You can tell I'm stuck at a slow speed. But the monsters do. As you can see, I can still use ice magic on that guy. And I believe fire magic is largely unaffected down here. So, stick with ice and do a lot of hopping. <laughs> Get to hopping, I suppose. Oh, I was wrong. We did have to deal with one of them. Okay. And we've got these fish guys here. I think one swipe will do it if we get close enough. Yeah, there we go. But the real big trouble are the big fish that, well, they blow. They blow a lot, and they blow hard. So hard that it knocks you across the friggin' ocean floor. Take this guy, for example. Alright. Fortunately, as you just saw, I can kind of cheese my way past. Also notice this one here, there's a pattern to the bubbles. Ow. Just basically just get up here, wait for the pattern to stop, and slip by. And then, just go and kill this fool just for the heck of it. For annoyingly. Okay, these rocks are really annoying, because each of them, even the small ones, take multiple hits to break. And as you can see, the angle of your sword swing I means you pretty much have to destroy the bigger ones. Depending on how you approach them, of course. Still, gotta get that cash. Let's see, 45 seconds. I have probably plenty of time. I don't think I've ever run into breath times. Uh, run out of breath. Oh, uh, yeah, let's check out what's over here. I know there's a gold apple here, and it's a little bit easier to get later. But I want to at least see if it's... No, no, this is just that guy. Still, I'm supposed to take him out now. Oh! Yeah, it's easy to fall off the edge here. Oh, I want that coin. Yes. No! Uh. Okay, got it. 30 seconds? Yeah, it's plenty. It's plenty of time. Uh... Taking in the tranquil music. Okay, there's a rock blocking the way here, and no, there's not enough of a ledge to stand on. You basically gotta throw your sword quickly, at least three times to break off one spot. Quick jump up for air. As you see, if we had not killed that fish below, it'd be knocking us off into the abyss here. I suppose this is supposed to be a tentacle? It's the only one in the game you ever run into, so I, I really don't know what to say. Okay. Quite simple. In the old days, I had to do this twice. Once for the top, once for the bottom. However, there is an easier way. Yeah, there's the gold apple. I've missed it already. That's okay, though. Like I said, it's actually easier to get it a little bit later, and you'll see why. You know the video games, sometimes you run into characters who give you stats for weird stuff. How many times you died, how many times you ran away in battle, stuff like that. I wish I could get someone like that in real life. I'd like to know how many boxes I've pushed in my lifetime. I used to work warehousing before I did the, my current gig. Okay. Now it's just a matter of getting, getting the timing right. Or, honestly, kind of getting lucky and... Not having bubbles. Okay, okay, let's go. The boss is right there. And once he's done, all these fish are dead. Okay, there he is. Live on. I'm not a big fan of fighting, so we threw our sword at him and pissed him off. Oh. It's mum. 
not really going to fight, but the attacks are going to go everywhere. There is a trick to this fight. But I'm also just go ahead and tell you, you uh, his shots don't go everywhere. In fact, his shots very pointedly oh, oh, only go towards your mother. Fortunately, you can just use your sword to knock it back. Uh, attempting to throw your sword at him, with, no matter what you have equipped, doesn't do anything. For now, it's just a typical kick, uh, shoot the, or swipe the blasts right back at him. It's a little bit annoying because he's got a ton of health and there's no way to hit, hit him for more. But, he'll just hold still for a few seconds. I can get a few hits on him. Good. One more hit. He's actually behaving, it's strange. Look, oh, come on, one more. No. It's hard to get the angle you want. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, even if you get his health down, he just regenerates. But, if you protect your mother, he acknowledges that and realizes that you have a good heart. It was just an illusion anyway. If not, though, this battle just keeps going on and on and on. Now, who's going to raise this shrine and join us? The Python's ability is to swing faster. Which would have been a lot more help when I was near those rocks earlier, but eh, we deal with what we got, I suppose. So my default thing is to... It actually does impact your throwing, too. You'll actually throw a little faster. So that's nice. Okay, we got the seeds. Um, we're on the surface. Now we got to find a way out of here. And they don't exactly telegraph where the exit is. Still, we got to get that golden apple. Got to get it. I think we be here. I'll be able to jump across the... Oh. Yeah. It's so easy to die just because you fall off the side of the edge. You fall off the edges in this area. And let's see, I think, uh, I think this goes back to the beginning of the level. Let's check it out. See, there's an exit on the uh, right side of the screen, right side of the uh, map up here. But this, like I said, it's not really telegraphed. You don't really know it's there unless you just happen to know it's there. I had to go over every inch of this map to find it my first time. I kept trying to go back to the beginning. When you, you go back, you just go to a dead end. Sit there. Okay. Oh, I know it's on that wall, so let's just go close to that wall and see if we can find the... Um, Let's see, this is good. just goes back to the beginning. We asked where that fish was. And... Let's see, uh, not here. Not here. Okay, just a bit above us. I think technically it's like right beneath Leviathan's lair. But you have to crawl right up to that edge to even see it. Oh, well, I think we can reach it from here. We just need to do, do, do a good big jump. And good. Okay. There we are. Finally out of the castle. Well, out of the temple, I should say. Now we've got the seeds, so we're heading back to the Tower of Babel. But we will deal with that next time.